Okay, I'm going to show you how to take 3D images of sculptures and other things that stay still and don't move while you take a second picture of them. So basically, you you take two pictures and you find two that will match up properly, um, a left and a right. So I've got two that I want here. They don't. So I was just I used this table that you can see in the foreground of this one to prop up my phone, and I just took two pictures. One took a picture and then I moved it across to the right um, about an, the space of your eyes away maybe a little bit more with this one um, to give the 3D effect um, so you've got two pictures that are not quite in alignment there either so first thing you do is you take one picture um, select all copy and then paste it on top of the other one so you've got two layers with the same image on the both things so then you take the top layer reduce the opacity to half so you can see them both um, and that's where you uh, use the move tool to align them properly. Um, so there we go, we've got the correct uh, vertical alignment there. Now the tricky bit is figuring out where you want the focal part to be and hold on, that was, didn't mean to do that. There we go. So you hold down shift and it can go to the left. So we want this wire bug sculpture to be the focus of our 3D image. Maybe we'll just stick with its face. That's the make that the bit that matches up the easiest. So things that uh, you can see these trees in the background here. That's way the two images are much further apart than when when they're up, up here. So they're much further apart in the background, and they're close together at the foreground. Um, and if we had any objects further, even closer than that, they'd be further away again, but they'd be the other way around. Um, so you put the opacity back up. So you've got both images there. And you can also see that this image isn't quite complete anymore. Um, this tree, in fact, isn't completely captured properly. It's going to look weird if we don't crop it out. So this is the bit where you do the crop. Um, so the edges where it's all wonky and weird, you want to take those out because they won't come out properly. Um, I want to try and get as low as possible because there's a nice bit of grass in here that you'll see show up in the foreground really nicely in the final 3D image. Um, okay, so move this up, keep it. There we go. So cut out the table completely, crop out that tree in the background. Um, this image you want to be more about the sculpture than the background. We can do another one where the background's more sharply in focus as well. Um, and again, I'm taking way too long doing this. So, crop it. There we go. That's our image. Looks nice and well composed. Uh, you've got two images, one from each side there. The colours are changed a bit on the second run. That's what you get for just using your phone and doing a rough one. If you're using a proper camera, get the make the settings manually and make it so that it doesn't auto adjust in between photos. All right, so um, you want to select what you've got, copy it. So now you've got the proportions of the image. So you want to go new image. This has automatically got the proportions of that copied image. You want to double the width. So you want to double the width. So that would make it 66, 67, 62, 67, 62. Um, and add a little bit to the height, add like 100 or 150 pixels. So we've got a new image, this is going to be our final image. So you paste the first bit on, and I never remember which, which bit goes on which side, so we'll just try it and see, and if not we'll swap. So then you paste on the other bit. Select all, copy, paste that in the bottom left corner. So the top bit's the space where you can put dots to help guide the eyeball. Um, and yeah, that does work. That's that's matched up pretty well, actually. I don't know if I have to change anything else now. Um, but yeah, so and then the final step, once you're happy with that, is to fix up the background so you can add dots as a guide. And this is when you're publishing it, it's optional. It just helps. Um, where's my fill thingy? Hang on. So you get your brush. 100 pixel brush. Just put a white dot at the somewhere near the middle at the top there. Doesn't have to be right in the middle. So you 
you got your dot, then you want to copy that and make another dot just like it, holding down shift when you move it across so it doesn't doesn't move up or down, it stays on that um, vertical plane, horizontal plane. And then with your eyes crossed looking at the image, you just move the dot to the right spot where it's going to guide you to the focal point of the image, which would be the bug. So, oh, the rusty bug. So I'm going to leave the dot there. Um, yeah. So that's a really rough stereogram and how they're done.